Alrighty, so let's go ahead and move in here looking at our development process. So in the first step, we're going to modify our Spring Boot application to expose the entity IDs. So let's go ahead and swing in here. Let's move into our Java IDE, IntelliJ. And let's scroll down here and move into our source main Java directory. Open up our Spring Boot e-commerce application. I want to first run my application as is just to take a look at the REST response and then we'll make some modifications and we'll check the new results. Alrighty, so my app is up and running. I'll swing over to my browser and I'll simply look at the product categories. So I go to localhost 8080 slash API slash product category. Alrighty, so it's up and running here. And one thing to note here is that there's no entity ID at the product category level. We simply have the category name, but no category ID. So let's swing back into our IDE here and let's go ahead and modify our my data rest config file. Zoom out here, expand my window. So just as a checkpoint, we're in my data rest config. So the first thing we need to do is auto wire a JPA entity manager. Effectively, I'm injecting the JPA Entity Manager. And in this particular example, the use of auto wired is optional since we only have one constructor, but I'll go ahead and leave it there just to be explicit. All right, so this code here handles the auto wiring of our JPA Entity Manager. All right, so then I'll move down to my configure repository rest configuration method. And I'll call an internal helper method to help us expose the IDs. All right, so let's go ahead and scroll down to the expose IDs method. So we're going to get a collection of all entity classes from the entity manager. So I simply use entity manager dot get meta model dot get entities. Next, I'm going to create an array list of those entity types. So this code basically just creates an empty array list and we'll populate it in a second. So then we'll go through and we'll get the entity types for the entities. So I do a for loop and I loop over those entities. So then I simply use entity classes dot add and I give temp entity type dot get Java type. So then finally, I'm going to expose the entity IDs for the entity slash domain types.
So I simply take that into classes and simply convert it to an array. And then I say config.expose IDs for, and then I give it that array of classes to expose the IDs for, or those given domain types. So that's basically it here for exposing the IDs for our entities using Spring Data REST. Swing back over to our application, just do a reload on this page. All right, this looks great. So we have the entity ID at the product category level. So we have the ID and the category name. And a similar thing here down for coffee mugs, we have the ID and also the category name. So now our REST API is exposing the entity IDs and it gives us easy access to this data. So I'd like to say, good job so far.